Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today I'm going to show you how I made strawberry basil ice cream. This is Ginger Snap Kitchen. The first thing I did was wash and dry and cut the tops off a pound of fresh strawberries. Then I set them aside. Next, in a large container, I added one and a half cups of whole milk, one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, five ounces of evaporated milk. I'm gonna pause here for a moment to indicate that this is a 12 ounce can that I used. Don't do what I did. Be sure to use correct measurements. One eighth of a teaspoon of table salt and two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Then I gave it a good mix and set it aside for a moment. Next, I added the strawberries and two tablespoons of basil to my food processor. I pulsed them a few times until they were finely chopped. Once they were chopped, I transferred the strawberries to the container with the milk mixture and I placed it in the refrigerator to chill for two hours. Once it was fully chilled, I transferred it into my ice cream machine. I allowed it to churn in the ice cream machine for about 35 minutes. You may have noticed I overfilled this machine. Trust me, it gets worse. After 35 minutes, I realized it was going to continue expanding because I used too much milk. So I removed it to a few ice cream containers and placed them in the freezer. What a mess. But the end result was nearly perfect. It has such a lovely strawberry flavor and the hint of basil really complements it nicely. I'm sure if I had used the correct amount of evaporated milk, the texture would have been perfect also. Overall, I'm very happy with it. It's delicious. All of the correct ingredient amounts are in the description box below and I hope you'll give it a try soon. While you're here, be sure to subscribe and that way you won't miss any of my future videos and it also helps my channel grow. Please come back and see me again soon for another recipe video. I upload something new and delicious every Sunday and Wednesday. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.